My coworker is the most annoying guy in the world. I wish to God that I wasn't so nice to him when I first started working at my new job. I should have wondered why he was so overly nice at the start. I thought it was just good manners, but it was just purely desperation. You see, the guy is a douchebag, all right? There, I said it. All the other co-workers round on him like he's diseased, and now I'm stuck with him, and I don't know how to get rid of him. Look, I don't mean to sound mean, and I know that I probably do, but <laughs> you don't understand. For example, every morning when I get to the office, I go into the break room for my morning cup of coffee. This is my moment, you know? The moment that I take before dealing with my loser of a manager and all the other dipshits that I have to smile at and report to. It's this one little coffee moment by myself in the quiet of my tortured life that I, I work up all the strength and courage that I need to walk down that pathetic hallway to my desk. <laughs> but no, I have fantastic Andrew popping in now because he knows, <laughs> he knows that I'm all alone. So he jumps at the opportunity to speak to me with his cheese and fart breath about whatever it is he did the night before, which is absolutely nothing all that interesting whatsoever. I leveled up in my game, man. I leveled up. <laughs> Who gives a flying shit, man? It's kind of to the point where I'm getting short. I'm, I'm cutting off his sentences now, and I have this growing attitude in my voice when I respond to his stupid, asinine questions of absolutely no importance to mankind. You know the kind of questions that are just asked to keep a useless conversation going? <laughs> Those questions. And now the poor bastard's flipped it on me, because he looked at me in the break room this morning, and, and with the saddest puppy dog eyes I have ever seen on a grown man, said... Well, you're starting to become like them now. And then he slopes his arms over and he walks out of like a lonely cartoon. And, and part of me was elated that he was finally starting to get the hint. But then the other part of me feels bad because I'm really the kind of guy who, who likes to be friendly with everyone. And now he's guilting me hard. It's just that he's so over the damn top, and I don't know how to get him to have a normal barometer on the whole co-work friend thing. 